All right, what's going on guys? This is Ron Wilkerson. We're gonna take a look at a device that I purchased a few years ago. So this is not a new unboxing, but I do want to show you exactly what comes in the box. I'm still getting a lot of people who are inquiring when they see my rig and they talk to me online as to why I use a device like this, you know, for my video productions. Guys, let me tell you, if you're recording video for your clients or your personal content, and you're looking for a way to speed up your workflow and also maintain the highest potential um, picture quality, this is what you need. Okay, so starting off, this device will allow you to capture 4K up to 60 frames a second, as well as it's very lightweight, so it's only 360 grams. Now, the IP panel that's on this is 5.2, and I'm gonna show you that here in a second. It comes with a number of accessories that you will need depending on where you are in the world, how you're going to be powering this. Now, you will need a battery to power this, and you will also need an SSD um, for recording. But basically, what comes in the box itself, since like I said, I've already you know opened this before, you get the Ninja V itself. Okay, so this is our Ninja V. And as you can see here on the rear, you have a space for your battery, or if you're gonna be connecting this directly to the wall, there's also another uh, device that comes with it that allows you to plug this directly into the wall. This tray here is for your SSD. So this is where your uh, hard drive is gonna slot into this device. But we're gonna go through all of that. So, but this is the main unit itself. As you can see, you know, it's not very large. It's not very thick, but this is very, very useful when it comes to being able to, you know, check your focus and play back, you know, some of your content out there in the field. You know, this is definitely going to be something that you guys are going to be interested in having in your arsenal. So let's just set this up here for now. Okay, so what normally comes in the box? So if you're a first time purchaser of this unit, you're going to be presented with the Ninja V in the box itself that'll be the first thing that you see and then once you you know take it out of the box the next thing that you're going to see is all of the other accessories that come with it now many of these accessories i don't use personally because um, usually i'm using a battery and an ssd or something like that when i'm running this but i want you to see all the things that definitely come with it so one of the first things that i noticed that came with it was all of these different plugs depending on which country you're from. So you'll get plugs from, you know, for every type of plug pretty much anywhere on the planet. So they really thought this out very well. So that's our US plug. And let's see what else we have in here. So that's all of our plugs, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay, and you also come, it comes with a power cord. And that's this here. And what that allows you to do Let's move the box off to the side for a little bit. What it allows you to do is to take any one of these plugs, and as you see here, there's a little ridge system, and it just slides into place, and they lock in place like so. And if you are traveling, you can just you know press this little button, take that one out, and for instance, let's say you're going to another country that uses a different you know standard, then you would just apply you know plug that standard in, and you're good to go. So. Like I said, that was well thought out, you know, when they thought about, you know, videographers that would be traveling all over the world using a unit like this, they wanted to make it as easy for us as possible. Now, like I said, in my case, I don't really use a lot of these uh, plugs, so I keep them, you know, just in case I don't, I rarely plug the unit itself into the wall. So that's not, you know, a big thing for me, but just having that in the box you know, is very, very, you know, reassuring as to, you know, something that I might need in the future. Now, in order to connect the battery, I mean, the uh, wall unit to the Ninja V, it comes with this little device here, okay? So this would slot in where your battery normally goes, okay? So you just slot that in like so. And then it has a plug here. You would just connect this plug into it, slide that in, and then you would tighten it down like so, so you don't have to worry about this being pulled out or something like that during a shoot. But you know, it's it's locked in place. I mean, this is not gonna come out. You're gonna have to depress this little button right here, if you can see here, in order to get it out. So you press this little button down and then you're able to now pull this out in order to release it from the Ninja V. So another 
you know, well thought out um, system to ensure that, you know, something bad is not going to happen on location while you're out there shooting and all of a sudden somebody, <laughs> you know, knocks over your camera or this comes, you know, gets disconnected somehow. So that's always a win that you don't have to, con you know, worry about that. Now, like I said, it also comes with a cradle. Now, in my case, I have used this, you know, for quite some time and I use um, stickers in order to identify which of these I have. And I have multiples of these little cradles. But what the cradle is, is basically an SSD, which is a little small hard drive that you purchase that goes inside of this cradle. And then once you have it inside, you're going to, you know, put in the little screws to keep everything secure. And you can see here the front, the Stata uh, connector connectings. And then you would just pop that in like so. Now your hard drive is now connected to your Ninja V. Now, in order to power this, you have two options. So you could go with the wall plug or you can go with a battery. And that's what I opted for. I prefer to use a battery. So here, as you can see here, the entire unit is set up. This is basically what it looks like. I'll show you guys here in a second uh, what it looks like when it's actually on one of my rigs and you know it's completely uh, assembled. But for the most part, this is all you're going to need. Now, you have a uh, quarter 20 at the top and you also have another quarter 20 at the bottom. So if you want to attach other accessories, you can do that. Atomos is constantly updating the firmware to these. So, you know, if you purchased this, say, a year ago, you probably had a number of different updates as far as software, I mean firmware. I just recently did a firmware update just a couple of days ago. So it added some new features and a few bug fixes, but they're really quick to address any issues that may come up with this uh, device itself. So I've been very happy with my purchase. So if you guys are looking for a field recorder that can dub as your monitor. So this is your monitor slash video recorder. So your audio, your video are both going into this device. So if you look here on the side, you have an HDMI in and HDMI out. On the opposite side, you have a mic in and you also have a plug for your headphones. So to turn this on, you just press this little button right here and it'll quickly turn it on. Let's give it a second to come on. And if you recorded something or, you know, you have something already recorded, you just press on, press the play button. And then you'd be able to go to whatever it is that you record it and you could play it back. And that's, you know, a big plus when you're on location and you want to show the, the talent or your client, you know, something that you've already captured for that scene. If you want to do a quick playback. Now, the advantage to having uh, HDMI out is that you can send that footage out to a larger monitor and that way your director or something like that can also view this content on a much larger screen if they need it. So it, like I said, this is a really well thought out uh, unit. I do not regret the purchase of this in any way. And I recommend to you guys, if you are content creators, especially if you're doing video productions, this is a must have. And I use this a lot for my behind the scenes shots, you know, when I'm working with clients or models or what have you. This allows me to connect this to my camera and I can record video real time while I'm shooting on location. All right, guys, so hopefully this video has been helpful to someone who is interested or thinking about getting a monitor slash recorder. The Ninja V is the way to go. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.